taking your audience questions, go to davidpackman.com, click on contact us, send us your question, or you can also leave it as a voicemail, 219-2-DAVID-P, or as a video, upload it to YouTube, send us a link. Jordan wants to know, recently we've seen a growing number of people pushing for marijuana legislation, uh, marijuana legalization, rather. This is also true with regard to equal rights for gays. Whether it's 20 or 100 years from now, which will be first legal nationwide, which will be a, a, a legal nationwide first, I think would be the best way to say this. Um, full marriage equality or full marijuana legalization, not decriminalization, but legalization. I believe it will be um, uh, marriage equality. And the reason why is the drug war and marijuana not being legal is a huge money maker, and it's a big employer between drug enforcement agencies the people who work in the prisons that are housing nonviolent drug offenders and so on and so forth. It's just a huge business. Whereas I don't see, I see the, the marriage equality thing. It would actually be more business if more people could get married. I don't see any financial downside to that. So I think that just looking at that, it's more likely we'll have full marriage equality before we have full marijuana legalization. Right. And since it's technically still illegal at the federal level, who knows when that's going to change. Right. Um, you know, I don't know if that if we even include that when we're talking about the states, but uh, yeah, I think you're right. Natan, I kind of what do disagree. you think? Um, I think that uh, well, if the Supreme Court decides in a couple months that gay marriage uh, will be legal across the country, that will decide that one. But assuming that doesn't happen and they leave it to the states to decide, um, I think that it's likely that marijuana would become legal nationwide before gay marriage for the simple reason that. People in very religious states are against gay marriage for religious reasons, mostly. The reasons they give. I'm not saying they're good reasons. Uh, whereas marijuana seems to be a more neutral topic. I could see a mass movement of people and a sort of domino effect where one state legalizes it, more states legalize it, and then all states legalize it. Because it doesn't really have that socially conservative component well, as kind such of, a big deal most from a of the right wing, perspective. Most of the right-wing religious people that we have on the show are against marijuana legalization for religious reasons. Uh, I think that if you interviewed the people in these states, you wouldn't find that. And I think that that's something that could change very quickly because it's not really something that's related to lifestyle. You can make a political argument, which is what anti-gay marriage people never accept. They never accept a political argument. It's always a religious one. I think the marijuana legalization, there's a very easy political argument to say that, you know, the drug war just isn't working. Yeah, it could be. But I, I still believe that because of the huge financial interests in keeping marijuana not legal, that that'll be tougher. And there are a lot of religious people who believe, who have the same reasons for marijuana as they do for uh, gay marriage. They think that somewhere in the Bible it says you're not supposed to do this stuff. Yeah, although I agree it's less people. It is. But still, is. the financial aspect. So anyway, that's our thoughts on that question. Keep the questions coming. DavidPackman.com. Click on Contact Us. Send us your question. We'll do our best to answer them.